Hi loves, Jay here with your March to April tarot predictions for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you are old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. I will be channeling spirit, spirit messages throughout this reading. So let's tap into your collective spirit insights, which I'm feeling for you. First off, I'm feeling a little bit better than I was in my last reading with Taurus. It was <laughs> very, very confusing and down and emotional. I'm feeling a little bit more uplifted in your energy, Capricorn. Um, a message or some news is coming in for you during this time frame, okay? And Spirit is asking you to fill into your heart because you deserve better, okay? You deserve better in, in some area of your life. And um, I'm feeling anxiety that could be overcoming some of you as well. I was feeling that um, as I was... You know, tapping into your energy and meditation. And I'm also hearing a message of you're better off by yourself. Hmm. You're better off by yourself. Interesting. We're going to see what's coming up for you in your spread. I'm going to clarify each of these cards. We're going to we're going to start with your most recent uh, past uh, energy. We won't stay here too long because we don't do the past like that. Okay. We have the Eight of Wands that is coming up for you. It feels like you guys have been on this uh, merry-go-round going really, really fast. Things have just been transpiring. There's been a lot of communication. I'm feeling heat too. So maybe that's intensity that has been coming up for some of you. But I definitely feel like you guys have just been going and going in some way. I'm going to clarify this one card. Thank you. Nine of Swords. Yep. There we go. That anxiety. Two cards came out. Four of Cups. Nine of Swords. Four of Cups. Uh, so air energy here. Water energy here. So definitely anxiety. Sleepless nights. Some of you have been burning the candles from both ends and not taking care of yourself most recently. And it, I feel like you may be asking for something, but you're not seeing it because you're on go mode. That's what I'm feeling. You're just go, go, go. So most recently, let's see if that energy is going to shift a little bit here. And I don't know because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling overall there's going to be a little bit of worry that's coming up for some of you. And I don't know if that worry is about your finances or about your health, about your family. It could be something, whatever this is, it is something that is tangible to you. So this Five of Pentacles is here. This is an energy of loss and health issues and feeling left out in the cold. I'm even feeling contemplating coming up as well. So some of you are needing to seek guidance and assistance from an internist. Maybe, you know, get some testing done, whatever, if you have been feeling out of sorts. And for some of you, this is that um, anxiety, that's the anxiety and stress, okay? So stress brings on anxiety. So some of you guys are needing to take a little bit of a time out in order to recuperate okay we have the fool something used to something new that you that you started or maybe this is new to you prince of cups energy is here as well okay so i feel like some of you may have started something new in this relationship or this could be in career as well and uh, I do feel like it's something that you love, but I and I feel like you're going hard on it. That's what I do. Like you're you're go go go. You're going hard on it. Two of Cups is here, so this is relationship for some of you. <clears throat> Could even be an emotion, but you're going hard on something. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio um, energy is prevalent here, so there could have been there could be someone coming into your life, and maybe this person is the one that is giving you this message or this news about something about love. Um, but I definitely feel like this could be a new start for some of you. I'm also feeling, mm, mm, mm. I'm feeling this energy. Some of you are already in a relationship, but there's someone else that is coming into your life and you may be open to accepting them into your life. I don't know if that's going to be just a friendship or there may be some sort of connection that's undeniable for you. So it could put you in a place of confusion here. Okay. <laughs> And as I'm looking at your next card, I'm like, oh, God, here we go. Here we go. So I definitely feel like someone new may come into your life. Okay. 
with a cup of love, giving you a message. They're really feeling you. And possibly, you guys, Capricorn, what I'm feeling is some of you may be in a position where you're feeling unhappy and maybe this person comes in and is giving you the attention, the affection, something that you have been lacking. And it sounds really appealing. It feels right. It feels um, like what you've been missing. So you decide to take them up on their offer. That's what it feels like. And the challenge that comes in is, you know, some of you may decide to, <laughs> some of you for sure with this Ace of Wands, this definitely feels like a sexual chemistry that you may have with this person. But I'm going to pull some cards around this because could you be getting yourself into some trouble? Even if you are not in a relationship, you're in a single, <laughs> you're, uh, you're single, there's some sort of obstacle that you face in this connection with this person, okay? It's because it feels really intense, okay? It's definitely really intense. Ten of Wands is heavy. It's a lot of energy. This is, this is a lot of energy that is uh, going on here for, uh, for you, Capricorn. Let me see what else is coming up. Four of Pentacles. So something that you are, some of you've been holding on to. So some of you could be uh, holding on to a secret. I'm hearing as well. So maybe they're, <laughs> I don't know what this, how this is going to resonate with you here, Capricorn. But definitely, there is something you're holding on to. There is some tension. This could be an emotion you're holding on to, or this could be a person. Like you're keeping this person, you know, out of the picture, off to the side. You don't really want to discuss it, but I definitely feel like when you have your time, you have your time. But I definitely feel like it's a challenge for you because why are you holding on to this? Why don't you want to expose this? And for some of you, you just you have you maybe it's a one time thing. You've had your moment of fulfillment and you're moving on from it. So this is why I feel like some of you may be holding on to a secret and it feels heavy. I'm looking at the Ten of Wands and the Four of Pentacles holding on to a secret, okay? And it almost feels like, well, I'm going to take this to the grave almost. <laughs> but definitely the temperance energy here is Sagittarius. And it, I'm feeling like a middle, like you could, someone, someone's in the middle of something, okay? Someone is in the middle of something. So this definitely feels like a challenge or obstacle for you. I'm going to pull one more card, three of wands. A lot of wands, a lot of fiery energy here. You're waiting for someone to make a move. You're waiting to expose whatever this secret is. And I do feel like there will be a little bit of turbulence around that. The sun, your focus is your happiness. So right now, I don't think you really care about what other people are thinking or saying. You're focused on doing what fulfills you in a way. Okay, And doing what fulfills you is not going to resonate with everyone around you, Capricorn. So it feels like there could be people who are not happy about the decisions that you might make um, around something. Okay, Where you're headed, you're headed during this time is the Eight of Swords. Look, this is, this is about interference. So remember I said someone's in the middle of something. Okay, This is uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So you're either going to talk about whatever you have been holding on to, or this is just saying like some somebody's in the middle of some mess here. I'm gonna pull some cards um, because you know the Eight of Swords. That's, that's that's coming out with a lot of things going on around you, um, and I'm I'm hearing somebody telling your business. Six of Swords, Queen of Swords. Yeah, you guys are definitely dealing, somebody's dealing with an air sign as well. Five of Wands. Um, could be anyone because there is a lot of tension, but I feel like there is a lot of back and forth that is going on between you. So I feel like this feels like, um, <laughs> I'm feeling like a lot of things going on then it feels like this is not the first time something has transpired with between you and someone and it feels like you're back and forth like you're not together then you're together you're mad at each other then you're happy like it's if it, it feels like a very unhealthy toxic energy that that some of you are are in and someone is going to have to put their foot down and say like look no 
and also some of you are going to need couples counseling okay we're talking about those I'm speaking to those of you who are in a relationship couples counseling because five of wands here too like you guys are battling with someone you're going back and forth there's a like like I said that back and forth is arguing leaving coming back being happy being mad like there's a lot of emotions that's going on between you and someone here and a lot of communication some of you are bad mouthing um, you're being bad mouth or you're bad mouthing one another or vice versa it doesn't matter but there's it feels a little toxic that's what it feels like to me there's a lot of tension that is happening here between you and someone okay that's what I'm feeling initially um, and that, and that's that definitely is uh, pointing to those of you who are in a relationship where you're constantly battling your person okay some of you could be also a, a battling your feelings about if you want to stay with someone or not um, if you want to continue dating someone or not okay so make this fit however it fits for you keep in mind that this is general so I miss I'm I'm channeling different messages whatever spirit is providing I'm just trying to convey that message to you so where you're headed is there's some sort of interference there's a lot of chatter that is going on there's a lot of conflict that is happening as well what's coming towards you is the four of Pentacles so that energy is coming out again I, I hear somebody's trying to stop you from something someone's trying to stop you from something Either they have power, you have the power, you, you're the powerful one. Well, I don't want to say that. You're Everybody's powerful in their own right. Um, someone has, and this is your energy for Pentacles, um, very powerful, but I'm feeling more like an authoritative figure. Look at that. The King of Pentacles is here. So that is your energy here. So it feels like Capricorn, you, your person could be trying to make a decision about you, and this can go either way. Because like it feels like you are you have the upper hand, it feels like in the relationship. And I don't know I don't feel like I don't even know if it's equal in this moment between you and your person. Okay, it feels like you have the upper hand, you're the provider, you have built things, you're the wise one, you have more experience, you make more money. Like it there there's a lot of things here. The lover's card. This is definitely uh, Gemini energy here, but definitely a relationship for sure. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else is coming up. I feel like someone is going to, I'm almost feeling like a punishment in some sort of way. I'm going to take this away from you until you do this for me or until you do right. Whatever right is, right? There is no right or wrong. It's going to be different for each person. But I definitely feel like you are dealing with someone who is a soulmate energy possibly even a karmic soulmate because it feels like there's a lot of back and forth that's going on between the two of you and there's a lesson that needs to be learned here that's what karmic karmic ties karmic soul ties are um but i definitely feel like someone's trying to use their power their authority to keep you or you're doing that to them but it doesn't feel like i said it doesn't feel like it's equal ace of swords so this is truths being revealed but also just some sort of breakthrough a realization that you may have like you maybe you don't want to be here maybe your person does not want to be in this anymore or maybe you're realizing that we are soulmates and we have to work through some of this some of these issues which, which is why some of you may decide where you're headed is seeking counsel going to couples therapy to work through this because there is a lot of love because the lover's card is in the center of this this is a deep love a deep connection you have that love so you may decide to invest in um, <laughs> hiring someone to help you establish healthier boundaries in your relationship so this is also message and news that is coming in as well so that can show up in many ways for you what's happening in your near future we also have the number four again so two number four is here so we have the four of swords coming up so this is like you guys may decide to take a break from something here Capricorn or your person may decide to take a break from something I definitely feel like a retreating energy and I also feel like the the finger is being pointed someone's pointing the finger at someone as if it is all their fault when it feels like this is a mutual thing and some of you honestly and i don't even like saying this but some of you just don't need to be together 
that's what this feels like. It, just, it feels like it's always toxic. It feels like you're, like the anxiety is overwhelming you. Like it's always something. Spirit is asking you to feel into your heart. Remember that was one of your spirit messages at the beginning. Feel into your heart and some, you're better off by yourself. Okay. And that's just the message that's coming through. Normally I will never say leave someone unless it is just, no, I'm not going to even say it. But that is what spirit is saying. Princess of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, King of Cups. So there's a lot of emotions involved in whatever this is. So in the near future, um, there could be issues around uh, children, issues in the family, or, you know, this King of Cups energy could just be issues in general, emotions in general that are coming up that you're trying to, uh, now I'm feeling like there may be one that there might be someone younger, someone older in the relationship or someone more experienced than the other. So this is what brings conflict. And so it feels like there, there may be some sort of break that you need to take to either find yourself. This could be your person as well, finding yourself. So maybe you do come back together. I don't know what the future is going to look like for you, but I'm definitely feeling a timeout. Eight of Cups. Leave it alone. It's like walking away from it. Walking away like you've poured in a lot. Okay, there's been a lot poured into this connection with you and someone. But I feel like after everything, after the history, whatever, it's like I'm going to, you're going to walk away or someone's going to walk away from this because it's just too emotional. And it's, it's like, I feel like Capricorn, I'm feeling like you're saying I can't bear this anymore. I have to go. I don't know what the future looks like for us, but right now I'm going to let this go. So we have the four and the eight. So some of you are thinking about taking a break and then you're going to move into the energy of walking away and taking a break from this. Okay, so that's what's happening in your near future. Your advice is the Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to pull some clarifiers around that before I jump into that energy. So you have definitely built a lot with this person. Let's see what the cards are saying. Eight of Pentacles, Princess of Wands. Prince of Wands, Princess of Swords. A lot of people here. <laughs> a lot of people here. So could there be interferences with family? And your family can show up as blood family, family or your chosen family. So your friends, something, distractions getting in the way of what you have been working on. So I, de I feel for some of you who who's in this relationship, you've been together for a while. There has been cycles, but there feels like people who are entering into your life sort of magnify some of the issues that you're facing in your life. And it's because it's because you're growing, you're changing, and maybe you're hanging around different people and you're seeing things in them that you see in yourself and it, it resonates and then you feel like it doesn't resonate in your relationship. There's a lot of things that are circulating around right now where you're just kind of like, it's uh, it's magnifying something in your relationship. And I'm, I'm hearing, I wonder, some of you are like, I wonder what life is like without this person or being with someone else. I'm feeling that energy that is coming up for you because some of you are having a spiritual awakening and it feels like you feeling your heart that you deserve more and you want to be elsewhere. Some of you, you want to just be single, but others, others of you, there is, you know, you want to be elsewhere. Some of you already have someone on the side, okay, that you want to be with them as well. There's a lot of information that's coming in um, here. Let me see. Let me see if I can get you some advice. I keep hearing stay true to your heart. Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, passion behind staying true to you, Capricorn. And I don't know what true to you is going to mean for you in your situation. Does that mean you're working through something with someone or does that mean that you're walking away from it? Okay, some of you are going to walk away from something. And, that, and remember, time is fluid. So that may not happen right in this moment, but at some point it's going to happen. And I'm going to pull a divine timing card on that too. So your advice is to stay true to your heart. That's 100% what, what Spirit is saying here. There's a lot of thoughts and emotions that are going into this um, 
and you're needing to take a step back so that you can get a clear understanding about which direction that you want to go in, what's best for you. Some of you have a family with this person, so um, you, you can't make abrupt decisions about um, moving on from something, okay? One card for Capricorn, please. Release any attachment to timing six months from now. Okay, I was definitely feeling like this year for some of you, but release any attachment to the timing. But six months from now, keep in mind that that is timeless as well. It can happen at any point. But I definitely feel like there's going to be some sort of transition, whether you're thinking about walking away or you're walking away. It's going to be happening some, at some point during 2024 for you. Your final outcome is the Queen of Wands, the public defender here. The Queen of Wands, is she's no joke. She does not play. She puts her foot down. She sets the boundaries, and she makes things happen. This makes me feel like some of you, if you are in an, an agreement with someone, that you may be taking things to a legal system. Okay, let me pull some cards around that. the hangman because you definitely are seeing things differently and some of you have been in the dark you have been dimming your light you dimming your light for what for this person you know I, I, I feel like some of you are holding back you're holding back something you're like I said in the beginning and you may be holding back just who you are like you might be a vibrant socialite you know and maybe your person isn't and I feel like you've been holding back and I feel like you just, you've been growing through some things for sure, Capricorn. And I feel like you're seeing things differently now. The Hierophant is coming out. Hangman and the Hierophant, two major arcanas. So... I definitely feel like some of you may be taking this to the courts, whatever this is, divorce, annulment, custody, um, claiming assets, whatever this is, it, which makes me feel like some of you are going to be walking away from something that you have been investing your time into and it's been a while and it feels like it's been a long time coming that some of you have been fully 100% happy. We also have the Queen of Wands, double confirmation. She's here twice. So Capricorn, you're not playing. <laughs> you are not playing. You are wanting you wanting to focus on your happiness, your creativity, your that you, you're a vibrant, you're a vibrant person. Okay. I feel like you're embodying this wand's energy here. You're a very vibrant person, and I feel like something is pulling you back, holding you back. Like I said, Ace of Pentacles opportunities are come are going to be coming in so if you are taking this to the legal system this is working out in your favor ace of pentacles here this is prosperity and abundance new financial opportunities that are coming in for you when you let go of something okay and i feel like you are inspired in some sort of way um, spirit is saying fear not you have support so this is for some of you are going to have to lean on your family and your friends your chosen family when you're going through this situation, okay? Not saying that it's going to be peaches and cream, but it definitely feels like it ends in your favor. So that is your reading, Capricorn. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit that all notification bell. Like this if it resonates with you. Comment below. Share with your family and friends. Enjoy the rest of your month, and I will see you guys very soon. Many blessings to you. Love and light. Peace.